All right, welcome back to, to yeah, there's some more teasers. In this case, a private report over at Fall of España. It's Spain, really. So, yeah. You see, this job not too long ago. Well, by the time this comes out, it's gonna be some other time. No one meet. But yeah, there's some more teas over here. Here's a little focus tree thing. In the, oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I had uh, all of this. Uh, these are all the Tino sub ideologies. I, I, I was just looking through them to see what, the f see what, see what they were. See if we gotta have that up there. Fine. <laughs> so, uh, these crash a lot. Anyway. Uh, uh, of course, another time. From after this recording, probably. And I saw us talk about the Spain. So, these are still basically saying this part. Basically, the Discord got hacked. And, yeah, they're gonna be doing some. This is gonna be reinvigorated by it. Yeah, there's Spanish Civil War and all this stuff. It's a uh, cover over here in the long time. I'm not gonna read it. You guys can look at it itself. Uh, if I remember, I will link it in the description. Or at least, or at least the thing on Reddit. Cause no me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget this shit. But anyway, part one. With me now. My man Franco wants the hero of the Republic and the participation of the Jacob Revolutionist to pull the monarchy now deep in the power of pessimistic president. With we'll make shift by Tito with the kind of national, the Republicans. Better manage to score victory in the highly controversial general elections in 1934. Franco Hall on the part thinks that Alejandro La Rue surprised decision in joining the coalition party government. The other PCE is the Partido Comunista Espanol. Espanol. In full more endorsement of the coalition, La Rue starts the game. In the Portudo, Republican Radical, the organization deeply traded with the Jacobin camp, and the usual insurrectionist and revolutionary rhetoric makes him an unlikely partner of any government now. Franco is heavily influenced by a moderate politician, Philippe Sanchez Roman's idea of a Republican dictatorship, so that the government is temporary, give temporarily exceptional emergency powers to bypass the Cali and the Fifth Department. But Franco says that we set to work and was hasty to pump at this hundred of the project. That's, I'm going to show me that uh, once we get to here. Oh, wait. I left the wall was gonna probably get some the given had barely cover what was asked for the national militia he formed. Became the tiny little working class hatred, the anarchist doubled down terrorism as well there was enough whispers in Doctor of Rice Revolutionary movement blooming right under his nose. The end of public dream seems ever closer than ever. You know, they've seen the long line of failures in the liberal party of the twentieth century, but some of them were not easy to give easy. In the ground fight, with the the macho men like a row. Almost idly in disproportion to disparate life, actually what? Just real quick. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I pass up real quick. Ah, check up on the... Turn real quick. But, but, like, this is like a few seconds. Anyway, uh, when we play 1936, the Fisher exposed over the years are finally getting wide. While the public attempted to draw up frantic disputation, despite the best wishes they sent, if it depends, being effectively divided into three camps. Those loyal to the public, those who ran the FN, and those who left this, the FAIC and T, or FAIC and T, as I'm going to call them, because I'm lazy. So here's the whole stuff. This, as you can see, half of the focus tree is basically done, so the half isn't. This is basically stuff that happened before where the left master went out overthrowing the monarchy a bit of a dictatorship and they go back to basic the house builds in she had a republic and this is toward the republic I'm assuming that with all this over here for when the civil war does happen this is probably going to affect how it's going to happen and maybe uh, see which sides are going to get empowered and all that at least that's my best guess some of this stuff. I saw the public, the public. I was conspiracy, lots of bohemia. The public do it the way, yep. All sorts of stuff in Morocco. Some right wing stuff, and maybe some purges here and there. The little army. Seems like shit's gonna go down, boy. You know? I thought Mount Franco fly, flies from the Union to the Civil War. I don't know how to lose from control to this game of public empowering the PR. And I was wondering what of Franco's PR in. Look, see, I'm going to the many constitutionally given to his predecessor. Before we get here, I said, Louis' victory in Southern Control will be detailed in Spanish Project Part 2, which I will be covering when that comes out. For now, we'll focus on another prominent Republicans under the banner of the PCE. 
Jose Diaz, General Secretary of the PCE and Congressman, after the Civil War working with the Liberal government, but if things become unstable and the situation proves right, he may overthrow the Brazil as far as he in the conflict of the chaos. After the abolishing Parliament replacing there with the Supreme Council, Diaz refers to the first in these and wants to the manufacture the PCE. Also, is not by any means the first host experiment in Russia, the in Europe, sorry, not in Russia. I think it's related to someone else. The second international, these as Brazil was found just days ago. A very positive effect in spur each other. Future of Wakimoro and Resident Briebs. Never mentioned those names, sorry. Hold the belief that social will not be on the day, and there's just. Yeah, so it's a number of power to build the force of the production progressively with a strong central organization. Understanding that bloodshed and forced collaboration will only turn the Spanish population, now you're ready to embrace column against the PCE movement. As far as they're concerned, keeping the appearance of a stale public willing to compromise and cooperate and not behave like a rogue, red rogue stick is key success. This, to Andre Nin, in his own fashion, is nothing less than treason against the principles of communism. The infinite now extinct Leninist current of the CNT, they seem to. Percent. They seem to be the most uncompromising group in the PCE, and with a wide support of the common American militia. The priority in the media land cover vision and democratization of the process within the PCE. Wide support of trade unions and probably the dissolution speak to a free, federal, independent self determination that necessary nations that work together loosely, joined only by the commitment to the socialist cause of regional cooperation. As such, they pass in the approval of the Catalan, Galician, and Basque branches of the PCE. All this radical approach are none other than Jose Diaz's own faction, who was mainly a veteran of the labor movement. Their objective is to secure the mutual ally of both opposing factions to balance the party. Their number one priority is survival of revolution safe, keeping the nation's stability, and thus many generals in the Red Army quietly back the center line. But you start to slice, instead of a heap And now on to your boy's favorite faction out of all this the National Front. Going over the right, the movement to regenerationistas. Generationistas, I'm gonna say. My first appeared to be yet another copycat of French and fuming phenomenon, but saying this would be designed to suddenly deserve to move with idiosyncrasies. Really, you can see 1923 as a cultural platform by its founder, Paul Roman de Bastier, is now glued about together the Front National. The wide coalition of ultra nationalist currents that conspire in the shadow of the decadent liberal republic. Becerra, fiercely avant garde, once sang from the old and pure glories of the futurist voice of the new era, using many with the inspiration to reconcile and achieve the past generations with the ultra revolutionary spirit of the age. Far away from ranching conservatism and Mongol communism, after his internment in a mental hospital in 1927 because of a debutant mental illness, Ernesto Jaimezin Calbarello, as I say, was probably in the Yaki. Agatsi, I remember. Took on the mental legacy through the formal leadership of the movement with fall to the mature leader Roman Maria de Vigilkin, however, with Roman de la Serna serving as the figurehead for the front in Vicer in Kin Day shortly after the beginning of the war. He says shall have the expanded space where his own project should happen. The civil strike places him on top. To imagine what system gets his money implemented the task, but only for the wildest imagination that's a simply self contradictory statements and beliefs, rather than mystery and confusion. Which means society a masculine and vile driven by the impulse of techno fetishism and futurist instead, coupled with open neo imperialist rhetoric in Africa and elsewhere. To make true socialism fit for the Spanish uniqueness, perpetual revolution through the synthesis and conceive, inherently imposing ideas and the final end of rediscovering the long lost Hesperian soul. No question that he could do to his own avant garde passion and acceleration, this resonance of belief, is that they predispose towards befriending Fiume fans, although Slingleton is an extent may vary. Fiume is, of course, a nurturing mother of revolutionary nationalism world, but his relationship toward the artistic regimes and the organization within is more complex and will further. but further on another occasion. However, you can cannot kill any two apart from the Salvatore Dali, the you know, artistic premise. Yes, that's Salvador Dali, if you know. Quick the mental move each of the listeners' inevitable resignation. Owing to its close friendship with Salvador, believing that he is the only option to keep the revolutionary spirit pure, did the center sideline to get a rare moral dissertation. It would happen to be that Dali is at this time at a crossroads in life and psyche. So connected to the surrealists of Breton and for the cultural relation with George Bataille. But it also makes me wonder how France is going to react to this shit if they're the national friend ones. So will Dali can reinterpret his belief depending on who he surrounds himself with, which will prove to be of supreme importance to its unorthodox rule. On one hand, Dali might choose to stay in the path of Vivo Sorizo, a devotee of Dietje, Le Termont, and Comte. 
It's all lies firmly in radical socialism and totem revolution, everything else I has sacred. Dali, influenced by overcoming Batata as a fail, still defends the liberation of sensual experience, and become like the Marquis de Sada, while love who gives monstrous tears from the GSL, rousing the common man to take the Bastille by storm. And wants to turn to realism to complete religious system, influenced by positivism, and organized cult with a real revolutionary spiritual stratum backing it up. God damn, this is fucking crazy. Yeah, on the other hand, the Dali of today might become influenced by the idea Christians like to hear the Shen, the very clerical aspect of possible phalangist companionship, embracing the liberation of religion from Catholic progressive perspective, metaphysical monarchism, the achievement of the Superman, the advancement of science and a disguised civilization with Catholic overtones, sympathy for revolutionary rights syndicates, and so on to Spanish nationalism might prepare Dali to become a new golden era for Spain. God damn, this man's gonna be fucking amazing. Fucking crazy. It's gonna be. Oh god, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for pain with the S. Death content. Cause I'm. I am. I am. I'm gonna say right here, I am very fucking curious how this is gonna work. This would be, be straight up honest with you. I. I'm interested to see where this is gonna go. Based on shit like this. Like, I, haven't really, I haven't done really much of my own commentary on it, but like. Like this kind of shit over here. I mean, the Republic's kind of eh. I mean, they're some some of them are interesting. The National Front. That that is that is. I got shit like this. I've hard to choose. Hard to choose. Like if they ever does come out with content for this. I don't know which to choose. Actually, this. It's, it's like the, all of them intrigue me in like their own bonkers way. So fucking wacky. God, it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun with the pain with the S. Anyway, the rejuvenation hold of the National Front far from secure and the reckless empowerment of favoritism. One or two fresh my cousin to turn a coup de court after which new organization lead during the Civil War. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna place the fucking um, Spanish Anarchy. I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they mentioned this area, but based on shit like that, I think the Spanish Anarchy is going to be removing a place about like a Q counter Q system. Similar to TNO's Comey, if uh, you have a plan of that, TNO will be a new order last day to be up. I mean, that's my best case about it. I don't know if, it's, I don't know if the Spanish Anarchy is going to happen. It might. Although, we, although I don't know how that thing's going to play out really. If the Spanish anarchy is actually still in there, anyway. Now it's then the Falenga Española, led by Jose Antonio Primo de Rivera. I fucking love saying that name for some reason. Son of the former dictator Primo de Rivera's group as the nightly chairman of spiritual romantic nationalism, the most revolutionary syndicalism in order to finally break the ossified fossil of the old order. The Falenga, although unifying the faithful observance of Jose Antonio's visions, is now a rigid movement and has internal disagreements and deviant currents, but expressed by the three members of a desperate triumphant. This triarchy it's the auxiliary body that takes over the organization proper after J. as a Jepir, let me call him, assumes the war of Hair State in Kaiser, Spain. The three men are Augusta de Foxa, Julio Ruz de Alda, and the Senicio Rivojo. Firstly, Foxa, a blue blood man like the Kaiser himself, is not much a pure ideological phalanges that like he's the voice of reason. Come from deeply entrenched citizens, Foxa's efforts are directed towards squashing down both. Naive idealism and opportunism for the new blood, believing that it is best to be pragmatic in the service of romanticism and revolution. Behind them, we we'll continue to see the heads of the older aristocracy who will be issued a new regime to anti bus like or treat the triumvir with suspicion because of its status as the class trained revolutionary. Secondly, Aldo enters. Part of profession, the true bureaucratic mastermind behind the ruthless efficiencies of Lenke. His mission's passion is to reverberate Spain to practical and tangible organization and infrastructure products throughout the nation with a particular corporatist and military streak. Thirdly, the real horse, still in his youth, is a brilliant if Philip, who has managed to have mere gripes and flinging into his close friendship with Jose Antonio. The exceptional propagandist here, the support of youth organization, trade unions, and movement, is quite considered the embodiment of passionate and revolutionary side of Philenke. Thirdly, the movement holds an increasingly radical composition as the regime goes on. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I had to switch real quick. I'm kind of curious what they mean by some of this. Anyway, the third and last member of the National Front is Juntos Oficia Nacional Sindicalistas. 
It's without question the most radical in discovering the prophecy of the bunch led by philosopher Fidel Rizzi Rido Ledesma Ramos. He based everything in Spain in his call to share the doctrine of national syndicalism. Drinking from Proudhon, Nietzsche, and Heidegger, the Johns, as I'm going to call them, presents the revolutionary product of the construction of, the anti of an anti bourgeois expansionist, secular, and ultra nationalist fatherland. Go beyond their flanged romantic sensibilities and the regeneration of pseudo artistic distinctions. Their strength is drawn from the discontent university students. We were syndicalists and urban protest left behind by social democracy. We would deal with these most part of the victory in the civil war, you will find the ruling in the country much more different from theorizing it. And so we're surrounded by several capable opinions to run the ship of state. The other writing men is with Simo Redondo. Down a trade you dreams of passing back on, formerly the armory the moment, and other reader of French utopian socialists and Catholic traditionists alike. He believed in that the new Spain would prioritize the common work in a sense of social justice, the expanding, extending a friendly hand to their Portuguese brothers from across the border. To achieve this, his intention to empower the unions and decentralize the favor of municipal units. Could have been a martial juvenile spirit, not together by Christian reminiscence. The left hand of John Santiago Martino Diaz has a much different background. He's still an ex member of the Communist Party. He once joined the Decent Party after realizing he found John's last hope for the realization the dream of a new Hispania. Mateo's intention to clear. In the modern landscape, Spain cannot languish in our talking isolation, but rather must radically reorganize itself to face the challenges of love and pie building. There's an urgent need to create a strong decentralized party, a complete ideologic drive, and total war approach to participate. Fear in a Hispanic spirit and ambition in the conquer to leave a mark on the world. Sounds fun. <laughs> oh man, a lot of these are gonna be fun. Whenever, whenever the Spain goes out, probably gonna be a lot of shit on Spain. Lots of shit for Spain. Oh, it's gonna be quite. F I think it's gonna be quite fun whenever this comes out. At least I think so. Cause it's gonna be quite the fucking um. Sorry about that, I had to go take a piss real quick. Anyway, now on to the last one of this. In a remarkable situation, but different for the peninsula. High Commissioner Francisco Franco, boy of the field president, required by the time of secrecy, supporting national front with weapons, resources, and intelligence for many years. But the Communist Republic, although initially certain to change, <coughs> fully turned against it after being sent of the commander troops and government declared it expressed intent to reverse Africanist policies in the colony. Francisco Franco was named High Commissioner by his brother two years ago. Both wishing to contend the irascible general and then place him in very far away from Madrid as possible. His role not an easier position, one, however, and he has very limited control over American affairs. He is always closely watched by government agents and lawyers commanders within the army. Even the Legion his life working party is now commanded by the same man who had the Yakov Revolution and his first as a Femin Galen when the Civil War. Ah! <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> okay, how about that? When the Civil War watched Franco was swiftly crushed again and restored his authority in the colony. Finally, feeling the shackles of Madrid, he would never fully place himself under the United States defense command of caution and past Machiavellianism. Still, was surround himself with his own clique of friendly peninsula exiles. Carefully measuring the situation and sadly, today is not the time to talk in depth about Franco, as his decision will be special. We'll see that in a bit. Nothing like his our timeline counterpart. For now, let us simply gesture that lives, spirits, and company are very dangerous combination. One like a reunite dominant dreams in this question of what if. And this, <laughs> yeah. But when this plan would be fun, but someone with this can hardly implement. Who would even read it? Some random fucking smish keys of friendly without failing. <laughs> yes, I'm quite curious enough Franco is gonna, gonna do things in Spain. The pain in Spain. I'm very curious after seeing that. I don't know what the fuck this, is, this implies. But it's gonna be pretty fucking. It's gonna be fucking amazing, let me guess. Anyway, the anarchists. The last ones. Finally, to the left of the left, we have the Federation Anarchista Iberia Confederation Nacional de Trabajo, or FIACENT for short. With a broadly anarchist confederation of labor unions united under military command and legendary personality. A Buen Nevertura de Ruti. The five cents are unique in Europe and even in the world as one of the most successful anarchist projects of the 20th century. The models of the CNT, a loose coalition of trade unions, and the FIA, groupings of ideological anarchists, quickly a class and outsmarted that Marxist counterpart in Spain. Now the organization that fear to a social order and terrorism across the enemies of freedom. Over the years, 
PC and PCE's collaboration with various regimes drove some of those a little further and further apart. Ah, sorry. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, something I thought. And that's when the civil war erupted, the anarchists probably broke in their own zones, free zones. In Catalonia, Granada, and Asturias, if they are able to seize control of offspring through guerrilla warfare, popular insurrection, their first side will be deciding what to do with the various enemy syndicates. There will be those belonging to the Falangay Jones with Angel Pestina, Partido Syndicalista, claiming that they can rehabilitate. Really handling the issue to the internal syndicate. The word declares the civil war to be the beginning of an Iberian revolution, calling on the Portuguese Union to rise up in arms and declare war on Portugal itself. It's one of the borders. General Congress is called aside what to do as well, who's part of the commune with the main head being Rina Vitura's Durutis Angel Pestias and Abraham Galen. Durutis by no means mounted so he commits a large portion of the FAI to any temporary measures of anarchism will simply start and de deviate the fire sin from its final goal. As such, in agree with Malatista, revolution must never stop or slow down. Momentum it must is momentum. If it's not compromised on syndicates, you cannot bow down to assemblies, and the only justification must be found in the hearts and minds of the brave volunteers who desire anarchy for them and their children. But stores on the country called for part to be handed over to the syndicates. The goal of anarchy is not chaos but freedom, and truth freedom is regulated by the free system themselves to the most natural social organization, the labor union. The proper representation and empowerment of syndicates of all kinds on the local and national level must be the guy life of revolution, unless it falls apart before it even begins. Gain the very definition of an intellectual, even if it doesn't personally repudiate direct actions. A careful analysis and consideration of great predecessors of the libertarian socialism, like Marx, Bukunin, and Proudhon, Gain believes that he has found a solution. A beer must be reconstructed along federal lines, minimizing bureaucracy to the extreme. The other goes further. The most efficient method of cutting down on statism and bureaucracy is to free competition. The event in a tolerant mission, a socialist market, collective owned companies, and self managed industrialization are key principles in the true anarchism at the end the labor alienation. Sounds interesting. However, one of the final parts of Inca is that Leis Santa Maria, an ex Falangist who attempted a bottom alliance between the Faisant and FN for the Civil War. He may come to the power of the Falangist syndicates are rehabilitated, but the not fails to properly integrate them within the Partido Syndicalista. He was out of the system of so called anarcho Falangism, which is nothing less than the synthesis of revolutionary and progressive syndicalism with the nationalist and Catholic spirit of the Falange. Inspiring unity and surprisingly, reconsideration and little public building rapport between Spaniards on both sides towards a common goal. This provision is such an idea and definitely implication will have to wait for another time, however. And I'm very curious to see how fucking anarcho phalangism is gonna work. Cause cause this shit just keeps getting fucking weirder and weirder. And I love every moment of it. I was somewhere out of breath over here. I'm reading through all this shit pretty fucking fast, so. I gotta take time to breathe. <coughs> anyway, part five, the farewell. That's where everything in the power of heart. We begin to set the side of the direction of the mod. Then we recover the lore and ideological contents of each path without spoiling how much they've been practiced as we're not finished yet. New part of it currently the works, which I'm going to definitely be reading wherever that drops. The only thing that didn't let you differ me at a distance, for now, I hope the cause of good pushing for readers. But with the light to write, the symbol that Redfall will get much more in the future. Indeed. I will. Keep on tuning, and I'm definitely gonna keep this up. I can see over here, little Spanish star too. We're gonna look at this one more time. So, yeah, I'm very excited for Spain. I am very curious to see how all of these factions are gonna play out. Which ones I want to do whenever I decide to do a few of them. Because there's a, based on this, this, there's a lot more with that second program report. I feel like there's gonna be even more things than that, but I have, this might be a very long video. The second progress report. But yeah, I'm excited for this. And I'm very curious to see, like, you know, Frank going the whole special. Uh, the whole uh, National Front with the Falenge, Dolly, and the fucking National Syndicalists over here. Those ideas over here. Most interesting out of all them. Yeah, uh, yeah, for the whole large document and all that, uh, I'll leave the link of it in the description whenever this video comes out so you guys can go like read the whole document yourself. I'm not gonna read it, it's the basic explain what's gonna happen between like 1905 and 1934, how all this shit happens. 
But yeah, that's the whole thing in Spain and the oh fuck. I forgot to have this. Um I don't know. I kind of have an idea for this actually. Where I just fucking Well me and a group of people just read all of these. Cause why the fuck not? I don't know, I might I might actually do this if I if you guys actually want it. Good knows. <laughs> I want to see how long it's gonna take to actually read all this. Anyway, we're not focusing on we're not focusing on that shit. Focusing on this good shit over here. So yeah. Um, what I'm most excited for is of course the accelerationist stuff, or the futurist. Very interesting to see how that's gonna play out. Uh, the Falenge, I'm interested. National Syndicalist, um, uh, pretty interesting. Franco, very interesting. I want to see what the fuck they mean by him being special. In the anarchist, I'm... This this dude with the fucking anarcho phalangism. I'm... I wanna see how the... F I wanna see how the fuck that plays out. That just seems... That just seems very fucking weird. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know... I don't know why. It's just... It's like some... Some, some of the shit like that. Interests me. In anarcho phalangism. I've... I'm very curious to see. I hope that... I hope there's something I'm gonna mention during Progress Report 2 of Spain. Because I really want to know what the fuck anarcho is. Because... That just sounds ama- that sounds amazingly cursed. <laughs> like, I don't, Like, there's some weird shit over here, but that shit, like... That, that, that's up there with fucking the tit in real and some shit in Coco. Uh, I, I'm- I'm- I, I can't wait, man, I can't wait. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this whole podcast with stuff. Anything you want to say, leave in the comment down below, and I shall link this in the description below if you want to read it yourself. There's some other stuff over here, like, yeah, this is basically like the poetry stuff. I'm not going to show them. It's just faces. I'm going to show if I'm going to focus mainly on, like, the focus trees and all that. Anyway, I'm your boy, the man artist, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. And hopefully, next time we do this, we get part part two of Spain. We can see what the fuck's going on. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.